Fountain Valley High School English teacher Stephen Schultz doesn't follow traditional rules of teaching. And thanks to this, his students are succeeding in life and learning. Every day I have to love larger and give greater and be kinder than I was yesterday. Today's lesson related to their novel, All Quiet on the Western Front, dealing with teenagers sent off to World War I and the loss of innocence. Mr. Schultz brings in a bunch of beach balls as a learning tool. When we do things like this, we've done bouncy balls before. We have bubbles when kids come in, they write about it. And the most common thing kids say is, in their activities, it's first time at school where I don't feel judged, where I feel carefree again and happy and childlike. And, and how would you feel them going from, from beach balls to bombs? And the whole point is, how do we make their reading relevant? How do we make them learn empathy and put on the clothes of the characters we're reading about? With this, Mr. Schultz reaches deeper, asking his students, since you're not dealing with combat. Why aren't you that happy all the time? Why does it take the beach balls or the bouncy balls but to, to bring returning to the love you knew best as a child? Reminding students they were the most creative versions of themselves when they were little kids. It's encouraged them to try new things and take risks, and you're not defined by your outcomes. You're already valuable, you're already loved who you are, so just go pursue everything you want. And, and the fall and the rise are both equally valuable and beautiful. 10 years ago, Mr. Schultz began his student teaching career under his mentor, David Terrio. David gave him some advice, take risks and stretch yourself. So for Stephen, he's always trying new things and the students get to see that experience. Um, and then the second thing I said is, uh, you know, people are more important than what we're learning about. I always tell people the only thing I remember from my high school experience is how my teachers treated me. Another thing these English teachers share is a love of storytelling and making it memorable. Can anyone tell me, make a hypothesis, what is the connections between this photo of the little boy pretending to be soldier and the real soldier? Especially since he tends to add a token that is relevant. He had this box and his grandma would never let him open it and then it was right before she passed away. It was a book and then a handwritten note that was talking about how uh, love is the key to life. And so he wanted us to all know that. And so he would give us each one thing just to know always keep loving everyone even if they're rude to you or not kind to you. Just always love and it opens so many doors for you. Each student received a skeleton key the day of this lesson so they can carry it around as a reminder to be kind and loving. And that's why so many write letters. Because I put love first. Love's the top of the teeter cotter. Love leads my life. And when love leads your life, your life can elevate the lives of anyone around you. Good teachers inform, great teachers transform, and Mr. Schultz looks at his classroom as a transformation chamber. Let the main thing, what matters most, what you give most of your time and energy to. You'd be amazed at how happy and fulfilled you are. From the moment I walk in, he always will say hi to me and then like we'll talk for a little bit. Yeah, like I'll either go to his desk or he'll come to my desk and ask me how like my day was or like how, how like my day before was. Like, did you finish all your homework? Well, in the beginning of the year, I used to feel super self-conscious and everything and you know, how I looked or felt. But now, since every day he always reminds us, you know, that he loves us and that we matter and no, you know, it doesn't matter what other people think or what they comment. So. That's like embedded in you now because he keeps telling you that. Jacob had Mr. Schultz last year and this year is his teaching assistant. One thing that doesn't change. After every single day in class, he'll always say, I love you big giant much. And it's kind of cool because there's not, not everyone's like that. They can't all love everyone. And so for someone like that to like, that you're not with all the time, but they can actually say that he loves you. It's pretty cool. And is he one of those teachers you're going to remember? Oh yes, definitely. Why? because it, oh, there's, oh, this personality will always stick with me, yeah? and it will always be a reminder of who I can be and how I have developed a bit of a personality based off of his teachings. At the end of the school year, Mr. Schultz hands each student a handwritten note on why they matter. Recently, he was awarded Teacher of the Year. This award is chosen by the students, showing he matters. Mr. Schultz says his life mission is spreading the message of love, leadership, and elevating others.